you guys doing today? It is day three of my prep. Um, I'm feeling great. I, you know, I told you on Monday how, it's now Thursday by the way, I was telling you on Monday how I kind of, I woke up, I just had a shitty attitude, I was down about what my weight was sitting at, and just overall not feeling my best and not feeling myself, but I am way better now. I'm about to get in a back and abs um, lift while Grant is at work, unfortunately. Um, he was pretty sore, so he decided to take this as a rest day. Um, so the morning was actually really nice. As you can see, it's pretty snowy out today in Portland, Oregon. But we are safe is all that matters. And I am about to get in my back and abs lift anyway. Um, the roads are pretty clear now. It doesn't seem like many people went into work today, but... Um, the store where Grant and I work at actually opened this morning, but much later. So he ended up trading shifts um, because we couldn't even get through the snow. We had to go uphill. Um, so it was just trying to get around that. And so we took the morning to just kind of wait it out. We um, went on a walk together, which was super nice. And I kind of wanted to take this time to recognize like what kind of mindset I'm in compared to this time last year. Um, you know, I definitely did the last relationship I was in. I definitely did conform to that person's lifestyle and I knew that it didn't fit mine and that I would do things like sacrifice my training for him. Um, I would, you know, like eat like crap or I would not track macros or I would um, you know do these things where at the time I was like so starry eyed and convinced that I was just like oh well he's doing it and I have someone with me and all that matters is that I'm with him and I almost was like changing myself and my lifestyle and my routine for him and you know obviously it wasn't worth it and um, you know I started to think about like those kind of feelings came back to me today because but it was like literally like it had snowed and we couldn't go anywhere like he had nothing to do with that his work schedule even had nothing to do with that or his training if anything like he encouraged me to um, go lift while he was at work and he's like yeah if you want me to I can make like a stack for you like of a pre and an intro workout and like just the most amazing human being ever and he's just like a biggest the biggest supporter for me and he knows like I'm on this set plan um I have goals that I want to take care of and that this is something that's really important to me that I don't want to lose sight of so instead of like telling me like oh you should take a rest day with me or like it's snowing outside we can't go anywhere or like whatever he's like no like when I go to work, like, go for it, like, you know, I hope you have a good lift, like, I was reading him my workout today, like, on my way to dropping him off, and it's just, like, that's what I want, like, I want to be with my best friend, I want someone that's gonna push me to go anyway, and push me to train anyway, and, um, you know, if it was something like I was sick, like, um, I would expect him to kind of you know, let me reason that out and see how I feel once I got to the gym and different things like that. But this was a completely different circumstance and it was just mainly because it was so bad outside, but it's just that voice of encouragement instead of, you know, oh, well, make me feel better about myself by doing what I'm doing. And it's just like, I'm finally with somebody that's comfortable enough with themselves to want to like promote me and want me to do my absolute best and I'm perfectly fine today I'm not sore I'm ready for an awesome lift and um, I will actually check in with you guys maybe while I'm at the gym and definitely afterwards just tell you how I'm feeling how um, the little stack that he made me 
went, but um, yeah, so just learn to like live in the moment, be patient, be patient when times like this, it's not worth it to try to drive through the snow to the gym and then be completely stuck and have your car towed or be stuck in traffic for hours on end and you know, instead of just waiting it out and having a perfectly clear road and able to be in and out and then oddly enough his shift's over after by the time I'm done my lift um, they're planning on closing early anyway so it's just like the world always works out works itself out and it's just it's crazy but you gotta you gotta be patient and you just gotta give the day a chance and um, you gotta be patient with yourself and just like stuff happens and you know no failure to me. Definitely got work done this morning and I'm about to get more of it. So I will check in with you guys when I'm done. Hello guys. I hope everyone is doing well. I just got done my back and ab workout and it felt great. I am not going to lie. I was a little bit more tired. Um, just kind of like head tired. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, cause it is later in the afternoon. It's about three 30 and I'm used to working out right when I get up or not even an hour or so after I get up. So definitely was a different feeling, but I still gave it my all and it was, you know, it really woke me up. It was a good, um, it was a good like jump starter for the middle of my day. It was kind of like getting an afternoon coffee or the reason why most um, cause you kind of, towards like two, three o'clock, you start to like go down as far as your energy level compared to the morning. So it is a lot harder to work out in the middle of the afternoon, but you know, I had the time, um, and I felt great about it, but you know, I'm in this weird frame of mind lately, or I have been, um, I've definitely am much happier because I'm with someone that I totally get along with that's my best friend that I wouldn't change anything about or just the situation couldn't be more perfect us moving to a whole different state together him supporting me um, him supporting me during prep um, him even willing to do a show with me if I'm willing to once I'm done this one in April so everything else is going amazing. It's just my confidence level lately has shifted because I, my body hasn't really felt the same. I just, I know I'm making progress as far as um, lean muscle mass, but I, I just feel like bigger. I feel um, fluffy a lot of the days and um, you know, it hasn't stopped me from pushing through my workouts and feeling good when I do notice that I'm, you know, gaining muscle and not fat. It's just I'm not used to being a bigger size. It's easy for me to get lean, and lately it just seems like I'm getting this, like, really inappropriate bloating, and <laughs> I don't know why, but, um, you know, it's all a process and I have to practice what I preach. I wouldn't tell anyone that I've been helping either through first form or embody, you know, to be discouraged and to listen to those internal thoughts. Most of the time I'm like anybody else. I want to, and I'm just like, why do you even try? Like you're lame. Like you look like this, you're not good enough. All this stuff that just subconsciously runs through your head and that you believe. Um, just, and like I said in the other video, just you have to learn to tell it to shut up most of the time. And it's really hard and it takes a lot of willpower, but it's just getting a hold of that internal voice and being like, you know what, suck it. Like, I'm gonna kill this workout. You are not going to change my mind. I am not going to have a bad day because of what you think. And, you know, nothing is forever. These feelings of doubt, I know that they're going to go away. And I know that I'm the only one that has the power of doing that. So it's all about believing in yourself and just going forward every single day, one step at a time, and just doing the damn thing anyway. So that's my message for today. 
Um, I don't know if I'm going to film any more today, but if I do, I will see you in the next clip. If not, thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Bye. I love you guys.